Hi everybody, I'm Rowan Lytle from Into Fly Fishing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lampson Liquid Fly Reel. I bought the Lampson Liquid a few years ago. I bought it as part of the Liquid 3 pack. Um, this was kind of the selling point for this reel for me. And Lampson offers this with a couple of their other reels, but this is the one I saw. And uh, this was such a selling point because the three pack comes with a reel and two extra spools. This allows for a little bit more versatility. And I wanted something I could, I could easily interchange spools with different fly lines on and do so on the water with ease and speed. It would offer me to fish differently in, in different scenarios. So I bought this a while ago. This is the blackout version, which aesthetically, whenever I got it out of the package, it didn't look fantastic to me. I didn't quite like this black finish. Lampson offers other colors, and if you don't like how this one looks, those might be better for you. But overall, it is a pretty decent looking reel. I found overall that the sound that the reel made was pretty good. You can hear it here. As a pretty simple clicker system, it's not extremely loud, it's not like a click and pull reel, but it makes a good sound and it looks pretty good. This is a fairly affordable reel, so it's nice to have those good aesthetics and a good quality sound. Not every reel in this price range comes with something like that. Now the, the liquid is a die cast and then machined aluminum reel. So many die cast reels are on the less expensive side and they're also usually a little bit heavier. The fact that they've machined it afterwards has taken off a bit of the weight. So this is a little lighter than a lot of die cast reels would be and it kind of pushes the envelope of what you can do with a die cast fly reel while still remaining very affordable, which is one of the benefits of a cast fly reel. Because of that, it is quite durable. It has a lot of strength in the, in the frame and in the spool and I've dropped and scuffed this reel quite a bit and it hasn't really done much to it other than the finish. You can see a little bit of scratching around there. This is because I've spent a lot of time with this in rocky areas and around sand. Now, though the Lamps and Liquid is very affordable, it's one of the least expensive reels in Waterworks Lampson's lineup, the drag system in it is almost exactly the same as the drag system on a lot of their high-end reels. And that was a huge advantage to me. One of the reasons I was buying this is I wanted a lighter, less expensive reel that I could try out in salt water. Thought it might end up being a backup reel, but that's actually not the case. The drag in this is so good. I ended up using it quite a bit for species like false albacore and, and bonito that do quite long, fast runs and you need a reliable drag for those fish and this reel does have it. It also has minimal startup tension in the drag, which is very important. This comes in handy a lot for me in situations where I'm fishing for things like steelhead or king salmon with lighter tippets. It's a big fish that's going to run hard, but I need a drag that's not going to have a lot of tension whenever the fish starts to run. It needs to start up at almost exactly the same tension that the drag's going to pull out with. That means this reel is pretty good for protecting lighter tippets and it's great for fishing for those kinds of things. I've, I've fished for king salmon and steelhead with this reel to great effect. Now the Lampson liquid has a large arbor, which is common on most reels these days. That means it has a pretty good retrieve rate. There are situations where a large arbor can cause issues with line capacity. If you have a very large arbor and there's not a lot of space between that and the top of the reel seat, then obviously you can't fit as much fly line on it. Now the spool diameter on this means that you can fit a fair amount of backing and a fair amount of fly line on this. It's relatively in the middle of the road. It's not excessive. I wouldn't recommend this reel if you need hundreds and hundreds of yards of backing. Of course, this isn't the sort of reel that you're going to be fishing for things like tuna or big tarpon with, so you shouldn't need that much backing anyway. But it does have an adequate amount of space to fit about 100 to 250 yards of backing, depending on the backing and the model reel you buy, as well as fitting a fly line. Now I do use this on spay outfits, and since spay outfits have heavier shooting heads that take up a little bit more space on the spool, you do need to be careful with how much running line you put on it, and you may want to upsize the reel 
compared to the size of the rod you're using so you have a little bit more line capacity if you're going to use this reel for that purpose. And one of the few problems I found I have with this reel is with the handle itself. It's kind of small and stubby and has very little grip on it and at times that's been a bit irritating for me. I find it doesn't feel very comfortable and I worry sometimes that I'm going to lose grip and let go of it whenever I'm fighting a fish or something like that. Now that hasn't really been a huge problem but it would be nicer if it had a little bit bigger handle on it. And frankly you could replace the handle if you wanted to but it's not recommended and that will void the warranty of the reel. In fact Lamson has a lifetime warranty and it covers any manufacturing issue or fault of the material and this is excellent. It's great when a company stands by their craftsmanship. The build quality of the liquid is great, but if it does ever fail on you in a way that is clearly the fault of the manufacturer, you can send it in. There's plenty of information on Lamson's website about how to send a reel in for repair for their warranty. Now, unlike the handle, I find the drag knob is perfectly adequate. It fits very well. It's comfortable. It's easy to change the drag. I'm not worried about having to change the drag mid-fight and losing grip on it. And it doesn't spool off completely without really reeling back. In fact, you can take it all the way back to minimum drag and it doesn't pop off. That's nice. As far as the versatility of the reel, of course, I already talked about the three pack. That adds a great amount of versatility. So you have the two extra spools that come with the reel. The three pack comes with this great case. I really like this case. It's, it's fantastic for carrying the reel and the spools. And you can bring this with you on the water with three different fly lines and simply to change, to pull a spool off the lamps and liquid, all you do is pull it off. There's no clip or no button or anything. Now, occasionally I don't like how much force it takes to pull the spool off the reel. It feels a little bit wrong. And that hasn't really changed that much as the reel's aged. I've had it for a long time, and it's taken about the same amount of force to pull it off all the time. And it doesn't feel quite right, but the advantages of it being that easy to remove the spool and put a new one on probably outweigh that. And the fact that there's not a button or something that you can accidentally hit while fishing and knock the spool off into the river, which is a problem I've had with some other reels, are pretty obvious. The Lampson is also pretty versatile when it comes to different species and different fishing scenarios. Like I said, I've used this on spay outfits for things like salmon and steelhead, and it's a great reel for that. I've also used it for striped bass, false albacore, bonito, and bluefish. It's been a great reel for that as well. I've also used it for carp. That's a pretty broad range of species, and that's only with this one model. There are enough models of the Lampson liquid to basically cover the typical array of species a fly fisherman is going to target. And that's a nice feature. Not every reel offers such a covering lineup. Now, as I've said, I've fished with the liquid in salt water. And though it isn't a specifically saltwater made reel and it's not entirely sealed, the cassette system for the drag does keep most of the water out. And I've had absolutely no problems with corrosion occurring in there and affecting the quality of the drag over time. And this has been completely submerged in salt water a few times. I haven't even really had to clean sand out from inside. Nothing seems to really be able to get in there other than a little bit of water. Obviously, I don't recommend ever fully submerging any fly reel in salt water unless it's the highest quality, most well sealed fly reel on the market. But if you get salt water on this reel, like any other fly reel you're gonna use in salt water, give it a rinse in warm, fresh water after every single trip and it's not going to be a problem. This is a perfectly adequate reel to use in salt water. The liquid is a really affordable reel for the quality. I mean, it's a die cast reel, so that takes a, a large amount of the price point down and that's excellent. The drag is fantastic on it for a reel of this price. You don't get a drag like this on every reel. I've had reels like this that I've used in salt water and the drags fail. Drags fail, this one hasn't. This one's lasted a few years it's done great for me. It's been really used and abused as you can see. There's all sorts of scuffing around this. I do not baby this thing. Now the three pack costs a little bit more. Obviously you're getting 
three spools with it. But for something that versatile, it's only, it's only a couple hundred bucks. That's pretty good for something like this. And if you're only buying the reel itself, it's only a little bit over $100 and you may be able to find it on sale for less. That's excellent. This is a great reel for the cost. I was really impressed by that. Now this is a reel that I thought I might only be using as a backup and I thought it would be something more beginner oriented and in fact it is. But I found that it is a good reel for anyone looking for a great backup or even a primary slide reel that's affordable and can be beaten on. This thing can be used quite a bit. It can take a beating, it'll survive it. It's not gonna get dented or broken as easily as some other fly reels will. And for the money, that's fantastic. I highly recommend this reel. It's really a great little piece of equipment. I recommend it to friends and I'm gonna be using the lamps and liquid for years to come. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for another review in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.